You play MLB, right. Major League Baseball. What makes you go that direction? Because <clears throat> you play other sports. I played other sports, but I had an uncle that played. Uh, I played. He played Double A uh, baseball. And uh, he played in the minor league. He got up to double A. He didn't make it to the major leagues. When he come home, you know what I'm saying? Tell me about everything. And um, he started like throwing to me in the front yard one day. Literally, this is a true story. He fucking threw the ball to me one time. I hit it, and he was like, he told me straight up. He was like, hey, man, I knew right from then that you wasn't supposed. To, it wasn't supposed to go like that. The ball. He said, so I threw it again harder because I didn't. I couldn't believe you hit the ball like that. Threw it harder. Bam. Same result. He said. He said when I, he he said he threw two pitches to me and I can remember it. He threw two pitches to me, hit both of them. Motherfucker grabbed me by my arm, put me in his car, drove me down the street, and signed me up for the local baseball team. Uh, <laughs> and that's what made you do baseball. Yeah. So you didn't at that moment you wasn't thinking about the money and how it could save your family. Nah, I mean I was probably like his, I was probably like seven years old. But now, but yeah. you know now though, yeah. correct? Yeah. I can assume that you know, like oh, yeah. when it comes to the money and the different prof- professional sports, that Major League Baseball is well. Com- the, looking at the numbers, is number two, right? Highest paying sports, NBA being number one, right? You know that now, right? Yeah, yeah. We was number one, but the NBA with LeBron and them, they've been doing a real good job of like with they uh, uh union and stuff, getting them boys like them contracts. So, um, let me ask you this: yeah. How easy did baseball come to you? Easy. Mm-hmm. All right. I want to read some numbers to you, and I want to get your opinion on it. When it comes to African Americans in the U- United States, right, 19.5% of us are below the poverty line. So if we had to put it in perspective, that's one out of every five black people are mm-hmm. below the poverty line. I'm a, I'm a keep, I know we've been drinking, but stay with me. Right. 74% of the NBA is African American. Right. Also, 69% of the NFL it's African American. Gotcha. It's only one second. One second. I'm reading it. Thirteen percent. So of 2020, 2020, seven percent, which was the all time low of the Major League Baseball players on opening day, opening roster We're was black. black. Yeah. So usually, what happens is so, normal. So is that seven percent now? Is they say normally it's thirteen percent, but in twenty twenty it was seven percent. Yeah. See. It was it was nine percent when I was there. Mm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So let me keep going. Look at this. So majority of NBA is black. Majority of NFL is black. What that tells me is so many black people want to play these sports, right? Before you said before we said it at one point in time, the MLB made the most money. Now right. it's number two. That's yeah. still good. Look at this though. Let's break it down. When it comes to NFL, it's only uh. It's six point five percent of high school kids go to to play a um, NCAA. Out of that six point five, one point two percent of college players go to the NFL. I need y'all to stay with me. So we are looking at that one point two percent of college players in the NFL. I mean, in, in college, go to the NFL. Damn. When it comes to NBA, right? I'm sorry. I just want to look at these numbers. It's three percent. Of players from high school go to college, only one percent of college players make it pro. Yeah, I believe it. Now watch this though. Just stay with me. Stay with me. I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to draw only, this on. Only 500 players in the NBA. Now when it comes to baseball, and this is what I wanna. This is what I wanna talk to you about. Wait. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a look at this. Ah, here we go. 12%. Well, now I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 5.6% of high school boys go to play in NCAA, at an NCAA institution. We some right. African Americans, though. Out of that 12%, 10% of African Americans or 10% of pe- boys that play in an NCAA baseball go and play pro. I say that to say, if you could really break it down for our brothers, right? Like you say, baseball came to you easy. Right. It's a one percent chance from college, from a Division One or NCAA college to go pro in it's, baseball. And and no, in football and basketball, yeah. it's roughly one percent. You're telling me it's ten percent in baseball of baseball players yeah. that go from college to pros. Right. As African Americans, we always talk about breaking the chains. We always talking about um. Uh, be 
uh, systemic racism and right, right. Um, generational curses. If you could explain to our black boys and our black brothers out there why they should take in more consideration of playing baseball, baseball. you know what I'm saying? See, this is the thing. Like you say, it's a 10% chance, so meaning that it's a better chance for them to succeed and they don't even know it, right? They don't right? even know it. This is why they don't pursue it is because, you know, uh, when you turn on the TV and you see a, a baseball commercial or you see an a, a endorsement or whatever, it's, it's, you never see nobody that look like you mm. that you can relate to. When you turn on basketball, you can see a Most, LeBron like I said, James. 74%. You can see a 69% Steph basketball. Curry or whatever. Somebody, oh, that's, that's me right there. You know what I'm saying? But when you see baseball, when black kids look at it, they don't see them nowhere. And the crazy part is they have the athletes – that they can actually do that with. You know what I'm saying? That a black kid can say, but they don't promote the black athletes like they do the white ones. You know what I'm saying? So it's so you don't even think it's black people playing. Damn. And then the ones that you do see, they Spanish guys. So you get in this Latino community and you think it's a black guy and then he's speaking Spanish. So it's like, you don't even think. You, it's about representation. In, in your mind, you think, man, black people don't even play that shit. It's just like when um with golf, like me, like I would never try to play golf because I never saw a nigga like me playing golf. So, so and a nigga you, that we did see you, like us claimed that he wasn't us. Exactly. So if you from the hood, you know what I'm saying? The only way you going to like see, um, you going to want to just pursue something. You got to see somebody that remind you of that. Now, mind you, when I was in Tampa, I played in Tampa Bay, St. Pete. You know what I'm saying? A lot of little ghettos around there. Hey, man, those little dudes used to come to the games and just be like, you know what I'm saying? They could see somebody that remind them of them, dress like them a little bit, got a little swag like them, you know, and then it's athletic like them, you know what I'm talking about? And then that makes a person want to play, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And then when they realize your salaries and stuff, they like you would never know that a guy make $35 million a year playing baseball, a black person, you know what I'm saying? Like, because why the game teaches us to be low key. So he's not gonna even publicize, he's not gonna even, he, this nigga might be making $30 million a year, he probably don't even got Instagram, you know right. what I'm saying? And that's how they train us in baseball mm -hmm. to keep that low key type of, type of style. And you know, a, a young ghetto child probably would never know that, it, that, that that's even possible, you know what I'm saying? And that's why and I brought up. That's why when they see a person like me, like for instance, I'm in a rap game. You talking to me about rapping shit. Motherfuckers go Google me and stuff, and they see this, they be like, yo, you, you fucking play baseball? <laughs> this nigga was a professional baseball like, player. What? You know what I'm saying? They be like, bro, like, that shit just, you know what I'm saying? It like baffles their mind, you know what I'm saying? But it's like too late for them, you know what I'm saying? Because they don't really know. But a younger person could see it. And that's why I'm like kind of like, I know I had an obligation to really get back into baseball and just kind of have camps, which I will, but... I just was so dedicated. I wanted to be part of the music industry so bad that I wanted to do this first. I have a son that's about to get drafted this year, you know what I'm saying, in the first round. He's following my footsteps. I know I'm finna have to get back into the game. So a, a dude like me really is supposed to get more proactive into more like camps and stuff like that. But I know that even if I do get proactive, I might see two or five black kids out there. You know what I'm saying? And for me... I need to see like a hundred black kids out there, you know what I'm saying? And I know that's just not gonna happen. So I went to an area where I can like help black people. But man, baseball is one of those things that if black people knew, like, like for instance, the Negro Leagues back in the day. You ever yeah. have you ever even seen any movies like Negro Leagues and stuff like that? Back in those days, you know, they had whole. It was segregated, so you got full stadiums. Full of black people. I can't even imagine being at a baseball game, a professional baseball game, with nothing but black people in the stands. But this is how it used to be in like the 30s or the 40s or some shit like that. Owners start making too much money. Uh, major leagues like, oh hell no, nah. we gotta we gotta migrate this shit. You see Jackie Robinson, all that kind of stuff happen. But you know, um, if black, so that tells me at a certain point in time, black people love baseball. I don't understand why they can't like it now. If they was able to get back to those type of days where, you know, they just enjoy the sport and black people understand what they can do, I just think it'll just be real beneficial for the culture. And I think, like you said, is the representation. I think the representation yeah. is super important. Right. From, because like I said, we look at the numbers, right? Right. 74% of the N the NBA is made up of African Americans. Sixty nine percent of the NFL is made up of African Americans, but only thirteen to seven percent of the MLB is made up of African Americans. But we talking about breaking these. His, Man, the crazy thing about curses. baseball, like like for thing, like I to give you an example, it's nine positions on the field, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, like a catcher, 
like the catcher. You know what that is? The nigga yeah. who catch the ball. <laughs> yeah, he do that. He do that. So it's not one. <laughs> it's not one black catcher in the whole league. Mm, mm, mm. You see what I'm saying? Like, bro, this is the United States. You, we come from the slaves who had to, you know what I'm saying, be with the with the strongest slaves, to be athletes, to do all this stuff, to, you know what I'm saying? You mean to tell me out of all this shit in the United States, it's not one black person that can play catch That can catch the ball? That can catch the ball. And, th- <laughs> and you know can what I'm saying? You not, not one, bro. So for me, shit like that is what irritate me, you know what I'm saying? Because I know that they just don't understand what's available to them, you know what I'm saying? And they just need to know, bro, like, Come on, bro. Like, it's nine positions out there. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers, you can make $100 million at every position on this fucking field. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. More. So the fact that it's not one just tells me that they just, it's not something that they want us doing. But we have to, like, notice what, you know, uh, what's available to us so that we can, you know, succeed in life and, you know, provide. Being that baseball is, no, is number two on an all time making money list, right? Right. Um, and it used to be number one. Uh, what would you tell like our African American brothers that's like yo that's that's choosing sport and how would you like I don't know promote baseball or tell them to encourage them to pursue baseball? I don't know, man. All I can say is look, bro. If you dominating in football or basketball, now you finna come play with his nothing. Like you know how hard it is to play against niggas. You know what I'm saying? I mean, screw, screw nah, me. Nah, nigga, we no? good. Oh, I got okay. you, dog. I, like we here. Bro, listen, <laughs> it's if you fine. play sports before playing against niggas is like one of the hardest things to do. Basketball is only 500, 500 of the best players in the whole world. Mm-hmm. So you gotta be cold. Football, you you dealing against the best niggas around. You know what I'm talking about? Baseball, I ain't saying. That the white boys ain't ain't good, but I'm just saying. But everybody knows you know what I'm talking about. Like, come on, bro. Like, I'm, I'm taking another shot because you want some bullshit. I'm just no. Saying. White uh-huh. motherfuckers ain't athletic as us. I'm gonna say you don't have to say, it, bro. I got you. I got you. I'm a, bro. They they make uh, movies like Get Out for a reason. Nah, I'm, just, I'm saying, just saying, like they want they some what good. We they, got. they got some good baseball players. But what I'm saying, bro, if y'all if you take I'm half with my of these, black brothers, half all of these the way, football, always. how half of these football players is in the NFL. If you take a third of these niggas and they try to come play baseball, trust me. They probably will be able to what? They will be killing, bro. They and will, they will be make more money. Way more money, bro. Look at the black and athlete. The black the say. black athlete in America is the highest paid, is the most expensive. You know what I'm saying? In the in the in the thing. Everybody knows that. That's why we keep them away. You want to get these uh lagging guys, you give them like ten thousand dollars and they sign for their shoes and shit. You know what I'm saying? They come over here and be these big stars and you make all this money off of them. You know, you know, black dudes, we come in. Hey man, you gotta come on with you it. Come the you gotta come you know smart, right? yeah. yeah. So it's like, why go through that when you can go to these Latin countries and you can get a dude that's built just like me or you? You know what I'm saying for the low. You know what I'm saying. So that's the game. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, man, black folks need to just the kids just need to know that. Hey, bro, stick with. Ba- if you know, if you if you a football player, I feel like every football player should play baseball. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. I don't care if you big. You small. If you if you can play football, you can play baseball, and it's just that. Look at look at fucking the quarterback from Seattle. What's his name? See, uh, Russell Wilson. Yeah, Russell Wilson, bro. He, you know what I'm saying. He played both. Like I seen a lot of people play both. I played both. I signed. I was in. The, I was in. The, I was one of the top quarterbacks coming out of uh, high school in 1999. I signed with Nebraska when they was at the height of they height of they shit when they was winning national champion. I should have had a. A Heisman Trophy, but you make me feel good, bro. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I be talking about my age, I be old as shit to these young niggas, and you like, I'm coming out of high school at 1999. Yeah, I just want to put that out there. But nah, for sure. Know. But but listen, I was for real the top quarterback coming out, and um, you know what I'm saying. I just feel like if I was able to play football and baseball, like yeah, I mean, we all feel like we the nigga that can only do it, but that's not really true. You mm. know what I'm saying? If all of them can do it. If you were this athletic to play football, bro, trust me, you athletic enough to play baseball. And it's, it's you know public record, but can you yeah. put it out there? You left baseball, and how much money did you leave baseball with? Man, I left baseball with over $200 million. Mm, 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 mm. And so, uh, you know, and that's another thing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't understand. It's going to pay you. It's going to pay how you weigh. Facts. <laughs> Yo, um, 